Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you something about uh, buffering frames for you to get a moving image on the screen. Now as you can see I'm doing all this work out of scratch. As you can see this PS2 keyboard connected to a couple of Twiggy microcontrollers and then back there an Arduino for me to get a USB connection between the PC and the, that shot down TV. So today I'll be using uh, these. This is just a bitmap. The thing is, it's a long bitmap containing a certain number of frames. And as you can see, when I move, you could actually see that, you know, the movement of this guy as I go through the frame. It's actually, it contains only five images. As you can see, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now, let me turn on the TV. Not before. Uh, let me turn on the TV. So you see. After that, the, the bitmaps are actually turned into byte arrays, as you can see, in that manner. And then once you, you take it on the TV and buffer, and randomly buffer the, the bytes, all you get is this crazy ass moving picture. And as you can see, you have the first frame moving, and the second one, the second one goes, rises up. So, by using an actual certain math to determine which frames to set at which times you could actually get the frame the frame to work at the exact time that you needed to so this is the first one and now we actually are changing the program to the new frame buffer as you can see now that you all we see on the screen is a moving guy how did we create that illusion? it's just simple the mo we actually are moving through each one of these frames one by one to create the illusion as if the guy is actually moving. So the microcontrollers are buffering the byte data inside them for them to create this image on the screen. Thanks for watching.